Well, Janela, Premier Doug Ford says we need to build a protective iron ring around seniors who are so terribly vulnerable to COVID-19. And the chief medical officer of health is strongly recommending anyone who is over 70 or has a compromised immune system to self-isolate. This comes as nine people in that long-term care home in Bob Cajun, northeast of Toronto, have died, as well as the wife of one of the residents. I spoke with her daughter today. My mom is going to be missed by a lot of people. And, and even though she was 82, it was still too soon. Pam Smith's mother, Jean Pollock, went to the Pinecrest Nursing Home in the Kawartha region every day to visit her husband. She also volunteered three days a week to help feed and care for other residents because she saw how hard staff were working. She fell ill March 17th and died this past Saturday. Her daughter was unable to be with her in hospital. She was driving from British Columbia. I talked to her on the Tuesday when they told me they wouldn't be able to ventilate her. I asked her how she was and she said, I'm going downhill quick. So I just, I told her that I loved her. She didn't die alone. The nurse on the morning shift told me that she had been sitting with my mom and, and that she had passed away. It's every family's wish to be with their loved one um, when they're leaving this place. and. Uh, that wasn't going to happen even if I'd made it in time. And so it was really important that she was with somebody that was so kind and, and so um, loving and supportive. And that really helped. More than 34 staff at the nursing home also have COVID-19 symptoms. Today, the Minister of Long-Term Care, Dr. Marilee Fullerton, said the government is doing everything possible to address this tragedy and stop it from happening in other nursing homes. The reality is that this is a, a virus that is new to the world and it is a threat and we are doing everything possible to make sure that all measures are taken to address the issue that happened in Bob Cajun. As I said, it's, it's tragic and we have to do absolutely everything that's possible. So we're looking at really shining the light on this situation, uh, this tragic situation with increased screening, increased um, isolation for people coming in in terms of self-isolation for staff that needs to be self-isolated or admissions that are coming in from elsewhere making sure that anyone coming into that home as a resident will be isolated for 14 days minister fullerton said supplies of protective gear will be made a priority for long-term care workers now there have been long concerns by frontline workers that there just aren't enough face masks and gowns today the premier confirmed there won't be enough and supplies will be overwhelmed if ontario sees a surge in cases he gave his most somber news conference today pleading with people to stay home we're in a race on supplies that are, are in, in desperate need around the world in a race against this, this virus. Now, the Premier says he will extend the state of emergency for two weeks at a time. Believe it or not, the first one runs out tomorrow and he will be extending it. The Premier also warns he will clamp down further if people don't stay at home. As for testing, there's been criticism that not enough has been done. In South Korea, for example, it increased testing and it proved to be very effective in containing the pandemic. Getting the tests, though, during a worldwide demand is challenging. Premier Ford says 900,000 new tests have been ordered. They have just been approved by Health Canada and results would be available in minutes, not days.